Welcome back to the fishing playthrough, everyone. So, we are gonna talk to my boy right here, my boy Angler. New quest, what you got? Batfish, caught in underground caverns. That should be fairly simple. Hopefully, uh, after we catch this one, we should get, well, we shouldn't get, but hopefully we have a chance to get something actually like, something nice. But I think in this episode, we might attempt to fight the Eye of Cthulhu. Maybe, I'm not sure on that, but we'd be cool too. But I don't think I got the firepower, enough firepower, especially since I don't have armor yet. Which is something I need to get very soon. Uh, man, we barely, we, like, don't take fall damage anymore, to be honest. Oh my god, there was a loud outside. It wasn't glass shattering, it was like, I don't know what it was. Maybe it was glass shattering. You guys probably didn't hear it, though. But yeah, uh, we need to get that special set of armor, the obsidian armor. Which is an armor no one ever uses, because it's not... The easiest thing to get. And, uh, actually, yeah, we are gonna have to fight the Eye of Cthulhu just to get it, aren't we? Yeah, I think we are. Hmm. Unless we can get a platinum pickaxe? Is that what I have on this world? Platinum? If we can get a platinum pickaxe, then we might be able to do that, too. So, as you see, the, uh, fishing potion is about to wear off. I spent eight minutes trying to catch, like, the whole, nearly the whole eight minutes just trying to catch this bat fish. I don't know why it was so hard. But, uh, there wasn't too much water there, but we caught the guide voodoo doll in, like, seconds the first time. Oh, thanks for the wall anchor. How kind. Where should I... I'll put this right... Nope, that's too close. There we go. Perfect. Let me do a little bit of this. And then we go up here. And we do a little bit of this. And, uh, I don't know if we'll need the whole knife for this, but I'll definitely need something for this. But I will put some rope going down just in case I need some put some uh, right here but we should be good I feel like we should be good but uh, let me see here do we have any pots I need I probably do need some pots hello how you doing I might use the falcon blade a lot in this fight I might use a falcon blade mainly in this fight is what I should say because it seems like it will help out the most uh, let's see here what do I need what do I need is the question. I need potions. I guess I'll take a night owl potion. Uh, hunter potion shows location enemies. That's not gonna help. Obsidian skin won't help. Don't I have iron skin? I have iron skin somewhere. And I'll summon him. Summon him in. All right, let's do this. Let's get a little bit of light, actually. Hey, how you doing? Oh man, I can see him perfectly. I can see him perfectly. I don't want to click too much. Sorry if there's a lot of clicking, but. I have to click to play the game. <laughs> I bet you guys didn't know that one. All right, let's see uh, what we can do here. I f the Falcon Blade's gonna do a lot of damage to him. So let's see if we can get close enough for some Falcon Blade damage now and then. But for now, I feel like keeping our range and doing our damage with the uh, bow will be our go-to right now. The uh, Skeleton Arrows, they do good damage. Just 10, occasional 15 I can hit for, 16. 16's a crit, damn. That's crazy. Alright, hold up, actually. Let me get rid of these dudes here. Throw some of these. You like some of those? You want some arrows in that eyeball? Like, this should be like... Arrows should be extra effective on him. Like, have you ever... <laughs> I don't know many people that have gotten hit in the eyeball by an arrow, but... In all honesty, I feel like that would hurt. That's just me, though. This is me. Unless you guys uh, personally been hit by an eyeball. You just... I'm not, I'm not sure. But... We should be good through his first stage of fighting here. But yeah, we're doing pretty good as a fisherman. We're doing pretty good. I haven't run into anything too crazy. Uh-oh. Our uh, swords, or I guess our clubber fish and our falcon blade do a lot of damage. Once he gets into spinning mode, which I hope he goes into very soon here. Spin. On the... Spin. Spin. Yes. Yes. That should be free hits I can get off. Ooh. Juked. Juked. Easy juke. Easy juke. I don't even know where he's at. Where are you? Oh, God. Uh. Yeah, <laughs> too slow. You're too slow. You got to come and get me over here. I wish there was a bow you can get from fishing. That'd be pretty cool. You know what a bow I want to get is? I want to get the pulse bow. That's a good item right there. Dang, the merchant. Do you see that? Merchant helping me out. <laughs> He's throwing daggers. Hey, Merchant, come on. 
Yeah, help me out a little bit, a little bit more here. Right here, merchant, merchant, hey merchant. What the heck, man? How are you gonna throw one dagger and not? Oh. Well, he tried. At least he tried right there. At least he tried to throw another dagger. Oh shit! All right, I want to get the killing blow, obviously, with uh, one of these weapons. No, we're going for it. We're going for it. We're going for the killing blow. We're going for the killing blow. Let me get this. Ah! Gotcha. Easy money. Easy money. Or should I say easy demonite ore. Alright, so we are in the crimson right now because I'm going to start a fight, but not finish it against the uh, Eater of Worlds. Oh, I got a ruthless zombie arm. Um, is this really fast? Eh. But yeah, we're going to start a fight with the Eater of Flesh and, I mean, the world of uh, the walls. Whatever the dude's name is, uh, because I want to get the stuff we need to make a pickaxe so I can go get this specific armor set just because. Let's do this. Wait. Wait, wait, wait. I need to clear one spot. Let's do this. Uh oh. Uh oh. I'm just gonna do this. I'm just gonna do this. This ain't doing as much damage. You know what? We'll switch to Falcon. We just want. We just want some shadow skills. Huh? We don't need a billion. We don't need a billion shadow skills, just some. You know, a little bit would be good to have. Uh oh. Come on, just give me some. I ain't looking to beat this boss here. Hey, how you doing? Alright. We should be able to get some here, right? Yeah, yeah, there we go. Alright, actually, we might be able to fight this whole entire boss. If I can just bolster down right here and just, like, grab a bunch of healing. Hey, how you doing, pal? Oh, turn the other way. There we go. Let me bolster on down right here. Hey, thanks for the goods. Thanks for the goods. Is it even possible to get a trophy from this guy? I feel like this guy would be like the hardest boss to get a trophy for. Like, when do you get a trophy from him? Do you have a chance to get a trophy after killing all the segments? Or what's the deal with this trophy? I'm not sure. We got a mask. I mean, I'll take the mask. Oh my god, that's disturbing. Okay. So we did fight him. That's actually really easy. Hey, how you doing? Uh, let's just grab some excess ore. Like I said, like I was like talking about this whole time, the whole entire time was excess ore being everywhere. So we will grab it, and I will take this, and I will bring myself home. What's in there? It's just green. That's nice. Where's my recall? All right, we're back. At oh, it's Romeo. Hey, Romeo, do you sell anything of use? He sells a code one. I don't need that. DPS meter would be pretty cool. Hmm. I don't care about any of this. You can you can uh, skedaddle, Romeo. Actually, let me talk to you real fast, Romeo. I got some. I might have something I can sell to you. Like this ruthless zombie arm. I have found lava, and I've also picked up a turtle friend. Uh, very nice. I'll be right back. Okay, we're here this time, and we're not dead. So we're gonna we're gonna get the obsidian, and we're gonna try this. We're gonna just drop water from the ceiling. How about that? Uh, this still didn't make a bunch of it, but. We're just gonna gather up a bunch of obsidian. We also need a bunch of silk to make this armor set. There we go, that worked out. Can I pick up this water though? That's the real question. Ow. How rude. I cannot pick up this water. What a dumbass. There's a Medusa head down here. What the heck? Alright, so I gotta go back down there and get that Medusa head. Charles actually gave me a quest that's in the jungle. So that's nice to see. But yeah, we gotta make a bunch of silk here out of the cobweb. And now we can make the obsidian armor. The only bad thing about this armor is that there is no passive bonus from it. But they all cost the same amount to make. Uh, obviously we'll make the chest plate because it's 5 defense. But yeah, this armor is probably one of the coolest armor, early game armors, I think. It's just so different and it gives a lot of armor. It gives a good bit of protection, maybe not a lot. I wish it had a passive. I don't know why it doesn't have a passive protection for what it's worth to make. Like, I'm pretty sure you need... Do you need Demonite to mine Obsidian? I'm not sure, but it's still... Oh my god, 
Why am I down here? It's still pretty hard to make for not like giving off a good passive of any sort, which sucks. For like each of them have their own little uh, theme post. What the fuck is this Frogger? The hell? <laughs> like ten slimes. There we go. All right. Get me out of here. Oh my god, what's happening? Get me out of here. Damn Frogger slime trying to get me. Alright. Fuzzy carrot. Oh my god, we finally we got something good. Yes. This is what I was waiting for. Alright, and I'll open the crate. Holy shit. That was a big crate. Rumble Travel Merchant has arrived. Didn't. What the heck? Weren't you just here? Oh, he's selling like not that much good stuff, but he's still. He's selling stuff. Let me get rid of the Shrekinator. Um, damn, he's selling a lot more things. Red cape. I don't really need that. Extend no grip, increase tower reach. I don't need that either. Especially how fast players move it. Don't need that. Name of rare creatures. Don't need that. <laughs> don't need that. He's selling all three items that you can go buy. He's selling DPS meter, stopwatch, and life form analyzer. Analyzer. Squirts a harmless stream water. That's useless. None of this is good, man. I guess this, but I'm not going to spend 10 gold on it. Nah. You're worthless to me, Romeo. I'm sorry to say that. You're worthless to me. Alright, I'm going to go get this Medusa head, and then we're going to do our little crate fishing to end the episode off. Alright, so we did get two iron crates, so I'm going to open up this one, and I'm going to save this one for hard mode. Oh yeah, baby. Alright, wooden crates, I'll open up two of them. Damn, we got a heart reach potion from there? That's crazy. Alright, yeah, that's going to end off this episode. I did make it to hell, and uh, I died instantly in hell, but I got to finish this armor set, and in the next episode, we will probably f f have no clue. We might fight the eye of Cthulhu, to be honest. I have another uh, eye. So yeah, I'll see you guys next time.